very much. I'm going to do a song from an album called Carry On uh, that was uh, titled the album Carry On because I had this great song called Carry On that was going to go on it, and then I didn't put that song on there. And I couldn't think of another title because I was lazy back then. I thought, oh, fuck it. Carry On makes sense to me. Or it always makes sense. Uh, but this song is called Sil Silence the Voices, and this made it. Um, and at the time, I was kind of pissed off, and it, we were, it looked like we were going to go back to uh, Iraq again, and uh, another war was going to start, and it seemed like it might have been bullshit. And I was thinking, you know, in the, in the leader's mind, in the man that has, has to sign the thing that sends the young people to go get shot at, you know, where's that voice in his head that says, don't do this, figure out something else, don't do this, don't, don't accuse the people that want to be war on the mercy. But now, um, I'm just getting older and, and thinking more about it. There's also that aspect of, of what if what if you do have to go to war? What if it's a good idea to go to war? Otherwise, we're going to be fucked somehow. Um, and you still sign it. And you still take on that responsibility. So so now it's almost more to me about what is going on in the mind of somebody that has responsibility that's that intense. Um, w. Bush, I I think. This was going on in his mind, I think mean, nothing. But I think a lot of leaders out there, they, they struggle with it, they battle with it, and they have a very hard time. Um, so I'm not as cynical about it, but it's the, it's the same song. This is called Silence the Voices.